Hello Capricorn viewers, just bear with my camera for a minute. It takes a minute to adjust as I put the cards out. As always, if you want a private reading, just send me an email. My email is dragonenchantress at aol.com. And that information is right below in the description box below the video. My donation links are also below. I really appreciate donations. And um, yeah, if it resonates, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Maybe someone on your social media needs to hear this message as well. So thank you guys for watching. And as I said, just bear with my camera for a minute. It'll, it'll adjust as I put the cards out. <laughs> we have the moon. We have the seven of cups. So someone's using their intuition here to make an important choice going towards a new life here with the eight of cups it's it's a pretty hmm we have another card about intuition so it's a pretty big choice whatever is going on here it's like you have multiple options here with the moon it's like you're using your intuition you're using your intuition to make this decision but you have multiple choices so there's whether this is about a job or about love you have multiple decisions that you know multiple paths that you can go down but you have to use your intuition here you really have to to tune into your intuition don't listen to what other people think you should do listen to yourself detach from other people's opinions and really just go inward and just meditate and and listen to your own intuition about what you should do whether it's about love about money you know this could be like a love situation where it's like your family and friends just love this person but for you, something feels off about this person. Like it just feels like, like the chemistry just isn't there or like you get red flags from this person, you know, trust your intuition, really do some soul searching, do some deep thinking here, make, you know, make this important decision. So you're not stuck in limbo, whatever it is, it's leading you towards a new life, whether it's being with someone or letting someone go, or, you know, going away from or towards a new job. It's, 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 you know, you're starting a new life here and going towards being the high priestess, you know, I feel like this is going to really help you develop your intuition and help you trust your intuition too because you're going to see that your gut was right you know this could be like i said this could be like a person or something where it's like you feel off about it but everyone else you know speaks highly of this person it could be like a friend or something where it's like something just feels off <laughs> and you know something's going on but it's like you just can't put your finger on it so really trust your gut here got the page of swords Five of Pentacles, the Eight of Swords, Four of Swords, yeah, to me, it feels like you need to say your, you need to speak your truth. Page of sword is, Swords is also, it's often about messages. So this is kind of the energy I get from like someone that's just ignoring their intuition. Either you're listening to, to coworkers, friends, family, but like something feels off about this person. Like this could be like a narcissist or someone that's toxic and you just know it. Could be like a like someone in your in your social circle, could be a lover even that you're dealing with. But it's like something just feels off, but you can't put your finger on it. But it's like you know that you just don't resonate with this person. And these people are trying to get you to like them and to open up. But it's like maybe this person is is just very like sociopathic and charming. And they just don't resonate with you. You know, sometimes someone's not even a bad person, but they're just not for you. Like, you can be an absolutely amazing person and just not be for everybody. This could also be like a job where it's like, this is what society wants you to do. It's like, they, you know, there's someone, there's some kind of energy here that wants you to go down a certain path, but you know that that path isn't right for you. Like, intuitively, you're led to go elsewhere. So it's like maybe, like, your family wants you to go to school or they want you to do certain things. But, like, intuitively, you you feel like you're called to do something else. You know, it's just just the overall energy I get is that there's there's an, there's this energy, like, um, a, one person or a group of people or even just, like, society in general that wants you to do things a certain way or they want you to go down a certain path. Or they want you to like trust someone or open up to someone that you're just not really feeling. And, you know, it's, it's telling you to like listen to your intuition, like just shut out the outside noise. With the Seven of Cups, you have multiple choices here. You know, you have different paths that you can take, but you need to use your intuition to to go down the path that's really right for you. This is your life. It's not about anybody else. It doesn't matter if it's right for your parents or if it's right for your... um 
it, maybe maybe like your parents, maybe your you know your parents are there's like a long line of like military or police officers, and you don't want to do that. You just feel like you want to be a healer or you want to do something you know, artistic, or you just want to go down a different path, but you don't want to let them down. It's like, okay, this is your life, though. You're not their little mini me like this is, you know, whoever this is, or whatever energy this is, could even be your own, just your own energies that like your own beliefs about society and about fitting into the world that are kind of plaguing you right now. But it's like, whatever this is, it's like, you have to kind of free yourself from it, because it just feels like it's it's been holding you back. Like you need to listen to your own voice. You need to step back and really use your own intuition. There's multiple paths that you can take. But, you know, listen to your soul and listen to your spirit guides above all else. Because this is your life. This isn't, this. And it's not your parents' life. It's not your family's life or your friend's life or your, your significant other's life. This is your life. It doesn't have to make sense to anyone but you. Some of you want to go down a very untraditional path like doing psychic work or witchcraft or even just traveling the world and living out of a van, you know, like just traveling, just having like an adventurous free life. But society says you shouldn't do that and that you need to work nine to five jobs. Well, it's, you know, th it's not their life. It's your life. You need to do what's right for you. You know, the world is your oyster. You have multiple paths ahead of you. But, you know, if you let your judgment be clouded by other people's opinions, it's like you might go down a path that's not actually going to make you happiest in the long run. And I think you already know this. Like this isn't something that you would feel drawn to do. This is something where it's like you're kind of on the fence about it, but it's like people are pressuring you so much that you can't hear your own voice. This is one of those situations where it's like if you actually step back and you just just pretend like there's just nobody and just nobody but you like because it's your life. You know what I mean? It's not selfish to do that. It's your, it's your life. You need to live it the way that you see fit. You know, like live in that van, like, you know, move to that country or that state, even if no one gets it. Um, wear the corset dress, dye your hair green, like just do what is right for you. At the end of the day, it's like, it's, it's for you. This is, this is the world is your oyster. You know what I mean? But you really have to, to connect to your own intuition. You have to kind of step back and just kind of change your perspective and just see it. Like, what would you want to do? That's that's your answer right there. What would you want to do if, you know, if it wasn't for your family, your parents, your significant other, your, um, you know, social obligations, society, if it was just you, like, just, just pretend like it's just you. What would you want to do? What would feel right for you? What would make you happiest? That's your answer. You know what I mean? Like that, that's, that's, that's your intuition. That's your spirit guides telling you go down this other path and it might be messy. It might be chaotic at, at times, but it's like, you need to do what's right for you. Not everyone is going to get it. And that's okay. Your people, your soul group are going to, they're going to get, get it. They're going to get you. You know, it's possible that some of you are not even some of you are feeling like alone. Some of you are, are around people that are not actually your soul group, like your family, not all of you, but some of you like your family, like your biological family might not be your soul group. They might be kind of people that are holding you back. Um, same with friends, like maybe you're around people that um, just don't get you. I got to really, oh my gosh, I get so emotional when I channel gay and lesbian like love stories too. Because um, this, is, this is just for someone here, for a couple people here. I feel like you need to come out of the closet, honestly. And I know that I, I'm sure that's not easy. I mean, I'm straight, but still, I imagine it's not easy. I imagine that's really hard. Um, I love you guys so much. Oh, it's just, it's such a sweet energy, like, when I get it. But it's like, oh, guys, guys, come out of the closet. Be yourself, please, please. Just do it for you. Do it for you. Come out of the closet, honestly, if that's your story. There's a few different stories here, but for some, this is like a gay or lesbian story where it's like you don't want to tell anyone. And you know what? If you tell people, you might have falling out. Like if you're in like some like, you know, small little country town, like where, the, where everyone's kind of closed minded and judgmental. Yeah, you might have falling outs, but that's not a bad thing. It's actually a beautiful thing because you're letting go of the people that are just not right for you. You're letting people, you're, you know, you know what I mean? Like you're letting go of the people that just don't resonate with you. Like that's not your tribe. That's not your soul group. Those are not your people. 
Those are people holding you back. You have to really use your intuition too and look at the spirit in people. Like really start channeling and looking at people's eyes. Because like the eyes will tell you a lot. You know, check into your body just how you're feeling around certain people. It's like, would it really be a loss? If you have parents that would not love you if you were gay or lesbian, is that really a loss if you have to let those people go? Like it's to me, it wouldn't be, you know what I mean? Like I would say, no, F them. Like that's, you don't need that in your life. And maybe some of you are in like a small, like, you know, kind of closed minded, like, like out in the country where people do things a certain way. And so you, you want to come out of the closet or you want to go travel or you want to do something that society frowns on do it for you. This is your life. You know what I mean? Like it might, yeah, you might have falling outs. You might have people judge you. It's going to be rough. It's going to be a little chaotic. It's going to be messy. But it's honestly, it's going to be beautiful, though, in the long run. Because you're getting rid of the people that just aren't meant for you. You're you're letting go of the people that are just toxic. The people that have been... You have... Whoever I'm talking to, it's like you have people holding you back. And I feel like you don't have a lot of guidance. So it's almost like you're, like, listening to these people because it's what you've grown up around. Like, some of you have, like, a very old soul, but you've grown up in, like, a really close-minded little, like, like, southern town, like, where, you know, everyone knows everyone and everyone's kind of just judgmental and gossipy. But, like, your soul is old and you're like, oh, God, I don't want this anymore. Like, I want to escape this. I want more. I want freedom. And it's like, you go go with that. Your intuition is screaming at you. Your soul is screaming at you. Your spirit guides are screaming at you. Go for that. It will probably, yeah, it might be chaotic at first. It's okay, though. You're not going to, you're not going to die. Nothing bad is going to happen. Like, yeah, you're, I mean, be safe. You know what I mean? Like, if you're around people that are, like, physically violent, then, yeah, be safe. But, but, I mean, take the precautions, but do what's right for you. The, one of my, one of the quotes that I absolutely love is, the people who mind don't, or, the people who mind don't matter And the people who matter don't mind. That's, I love that quote. Think about that. The people who mind don't matter. And the people who matter don't mind. You will probably, whatever this is, whether it's coming out of the closet or moving to a new location or living in a van um, or, you know, not following in your family's footsteps of, of a certain profession and just, you know, going, going to art school or going to, you know, doing something that's just right for you. Yeah, you're going to be judged. You're going to have people hate you. You're going to have people look down on you. Those are not your people, so who gives a shit? You know, like, I wasn't born into my soul group. A lot of people weren't born into their soul groups, especially, I know I probably sound crazy, but especially fairy souls. There are different realms, and the fairy realm is a very real realm. Like, I don't, you know, I don't talk about it too much on here, but if you have that that soul, that old soul, it's like, you might be in a family that's just holding you back, and you need to listen to your intuition And if you need to cut your family out, cut your family out. If they're toxic, cut them out. Because a lot of people were not born, a lot of, a lot of people were not born into their actual soul groups. It's really sad, but this lifetime, a lot of people ended up with, with biological families that are just not actually their soul group, not actually their tribe. So when you let go of the toxic people, when you let go of the people that are just holding you back and trying to limit you and trying to, it's like you can't, you have to walk walk on eggshells with them. You have to be a certain way around them. You have to agree with them. They like, you can feel their control issues. You can feel like just being smothered and just, it's like you're losing yourself. It's like, you just can't be your true self around them. You have to hide who you really are. You have to hide. It's like some of you are witches and you just want to, you know, some of you want to come out of the broom closet. It's like, and you can't because you're around people that will judge you. And it's like, just, just live your truth. If you're around people that you can't be your true self around, then maybe it's time to consider letting those people go. Like those people are not, they're just not right for you long term. You know what I mean? Like the people that are really right for you are going to embrace you and accept you just as you are. You can be as weird as you want to be. You can dress the way you want to dress. You can have the career you want to have. You can dye your hair whatever color you want. Get whatever piercings and tattoos you want. Um, Be a witch, be gay, be lesbian, be whatever you want to be. You know what I mean? That should be a bumper sticker, shouldn't it? Shouldn't it? I kind of want to make a bumper sticker that just says be a witch and be gay or be lesbian. I love it. Um, anyway, sorry. But I strongly support the LGBT, LGBT community. But um, 
But anyway, and some of you, there might be someone like transgender here that's watching this too, where it's like you want to transition, but, um, and there's different stories. Like I said, for some, for some, this is about being gay or lesbian and the people around you won't accept it. For some, it's like you want to have an untraditional career and the people around you just won't accept that. Or you want to, you want to do something that's untraditional, like, like traveling or just something that like people just don't understand. For some, you want to transition and the people around you just like won't, they won't accept that. They won't, and, and you know, cut them out of your life. It's okay. I know society tells you like, oh, you have to forgive and you have to be close to your parents because they're your parents. No, like I, I cut my parents out like, like, let's see, I'm 31 now. I cut them out when I was about like 17. So that's, that's like nearly 15 years and I'm happier than ever. Like I did cut and clear spells on them. I don't miss them at all. Like I'm good. You know what I mean? Like if you have shitty parents, you're not obligated to make it work. If you have a toxic grandma that's just set or toxic grandpa that's just set in their ways and they just judge you and they just, they're, they're racist, sexist, homophobic, whatever, you can cut them out. It's okay. And people, you know, especially closed-minded people, they will judge you for that. They will probably give you crap and be like, oh, that, that's your family. You need to give them a, a chance. No, you don't. This is your life. Live it for you. If your family is toxic, you have the right to free yourself from them. And like I said, many of you were not born into your, your, um, your soul groups. Many of you were just not born into your soul groups. You know, so your biological family, that's not actually your family. Like you have like soul parents and like a soul brother or soul sister or soul, soul siblings, like people that, people that have been your biological family in your past lives and that are your biological family in the other realms. But this lifetime, they just happen to not be your biological family. So keep that in mind that it's possible that your soul group, like you have a family, but it just might not be your biological family in this lifetime, you know? And when you, it reminds me of that Tracy Chapman song. That's what's coming to mind. Leave tonight or live and die this way. Some of you are in like a really small town and you're like, do I, do I follow my dreams and, and leave and, and, you know, leave the nest and, and risk everything? Or do I stay in my comfort zone? And, you know, to me, the answer is, is leave the nest, risk everything. And it doesn't mean things are going to be perfect. Like, Look at Jewel, for example. She's she's a God, she makes millions. She's a she's a wonderful singer. She lived in her car when she first got to LA. She just said, screw it. You know what I mean? And I'm not saying like to be reckless, but I'm just saying like go with where your intuition is telling you to go. It doesn't some of you are worrying that everything's gonna be chaotic or it's not gonna be perfect. And it's like you're right, it's not gonna be perfect. It probably is gonna be chaotic. If you come out of the the closet, if you tell you know if you tell your family hey i'm gonna i'm going to to art school instead or i'm i'm gonna you know move to another country because that's where i want to be you know yeah you're gonna be judged they're gonna be like oh this is crazy this is reckless but again it's your life you're doing it for you it's not about them you know and you might have struggles you might have ups and downs like yeah it's not gonna be perfect but if you're following your intuition, following your heart, following your spirit guides, you're going to get to where you need to be. If you're letting the universe just flow and like just trusting it and just going with your gut, going with your intuition. Yeah, it might be messy at times, but ultimately it's leading you to your best self and your best life, you know? So it's like, you know, you're, you're trying to, some of you are trying to control things and trying to cover it up. You're like, well, I want to come out, but like this person, my brother's going to judge me or this person's going to say this. And like, yeah, they are. Let them. You know what I mean? It's like a tower moment where it's like you're trying to avoid the tower moment, like the tower tarot card. And it's like you're trying to avoid it so much that it's like it's like inevitable. It's like you can what's worse, spending your life being um, like not being able to be your true self, not following your dreams, not doing what's right for you, you know, living under you know the, the dictation of others, like just living under someone else's rule living under, you know, just not, not being who you truly are or having a tower moment and having things be chaotic, having arguments, having breakups, having, you know, letting people go, um, going through the ups and downs, going through the struggles, but ultimately 
being led to your best life and being able to be your true self finally and do what's right for you finally like what's what's worse you know you know like to me i would gladly just go through the tower moment because with that tower moment comes freedom you're going to finally be able to be true to yourself and yeah you're probably going to lose people whatever this is you probably are going to lose people over it and that's okay those are not your people you're going to it's going to hurt in the in the in the moment it's going to hurt but i think when you look back you're you're going to have to just go through the pain you're going to have to just go through it you know what i mean like you're going to have to just rip that rip that bandaid off and just go through it and you're going to look back and you know at first it's going to hurt at first you're going to be like wow why couldn't my why couldn't my grandparents just accept me or why couldn't this person just like why couldn't i just follow my dreams why couldn't i just be myself with this person but you're going to look back and you're going to be like oh my god that person was toxic that person was holding me back why did I love them so much? Maybe I just loved them because it was familiar, because that was all I had known, because that was the small little town I had grown up in. I didn't know there was more out there, you know? It's like you're going to be so glad that you let go of that, that person. It's like you're not going to resonate with them anymore. Yeah, it's going to hurt in the moment, but you've got to look at the bigger picture and and go forward, and it's like you're just you're going to get to that point where you just really don't miss them, where it's like they, they just don't resonate with you anymore and you're going to feel such freedom and such an amazing breakthrough that you let them go and that you you move forward to live your best life. You know, the world is your oyster. There's a lot out there. So, you know, go to where you're led to go. If you're led to go to a new state or country, go. Honestly, use your intuition. If you're in a small town and you know it's time to get out, go. Go. Like it's it's time it's really time like your intuition has been telling you this yeah it's like you're not trapped you feel trapped because you're looking at all the swords around you but traditionally eight of swords it's like there's all these swords but there's an opening right here where you have everything you could ever want true love dreams abundance it might, you might have to lose everybody. So if you're in, if you've been around toxic people, if you're, you're in the same old small town, you might lose everyone or almost everyone. And that's okay because you're going to meet new people. The universe is going to replace those people with people that are actually like on your level, you know, people that actually get you, people that actually accept you just as you are. You know what I mean? Like if you're gay or lesbian, you're going to go out and meet new people in the LGBT community, people that just understand you. If you're like a witch, it's like maybe you don't know any other witches, but you're going to you're it's like you're going to go out there and you're going to meet other witches because it's like the, the divine is going to reward that bravery and just you stepping out of your comfort zone and just trusting the universe, just just um, letting things flow, you know, going with your intuition, being the high priest or the high priestess. It's like you're going to get to that point where you're really, um, you know, the world is just your oyster. And you're going to start seeing the the laws of attraction, synchronicity, just the divine, you know, bringing you these these amazing people, and these amazing gifts, you know, because you're just you're you're just opening yourself up and you're letting things flow. You have to get through that tower moment. There's going to be chaos. There's going to be falling outs. That's OK, though. That is OK. You need to go down your path. That's right for you. And yeah, there's going to be healing here that's going to take place. Yeah, there's going to be heartbreak. There's going to be healing. But it's like you're going to feel a sense of freedom because it's like you're letting go of the burdens. You're letting go of the people that have been holding you back so that you can have stability, so that you can be, you know, your best self, so that you can have the creative life, the just everything that you deserve and everything that you want. Yeah, the chariot, the sun, it's like you're going to be, there's pain and there's loss, but it's you're at some point you're also going to feel like this relief like wow like these people it's like these people are holding you back and you've adapted to it like you're used to them gaslighting you you're used to them talking to you a certain way you're used to their it's like a family for some where it's like you're used to them being toxic or like if you live in a small town it's like you're used to that small town mentality and then you're going to go out and move to another state or country and be like wow like i thought the world was was how my small town was and it's you're going to be like wow that I was so wrong. Like, there's so much more out there. And these people want to gaslight you into thinking that there's not more out there, that the world is big and scary and that you need to stay put. They're gaslighting you, and I think you know that. And you have to stop letting them gaslight you. I know it's not easy, but you're going to feel a sense of freedom when you really let go of these people. You're going to feel like a breakthrough. Like, you're just... It's, it's like things are going to be finally just moving for you. 
like things are going to start making sense again. You know what I mean? It's like, yeah, there's heartbreak. You can't avoid the heartbreak, but it's, it's, it's really, it's a beautiful thing. If you can get, if you can just go through that pain and just go through it, go through that darkness, you're going to come out on the other side and you're going to be happier than you've ever been. The chariot and the sun. It's like, you're going to have everything. But you have to let go of the burdens. You have to let go of the people and the situations and the small little towns and the, the perspectives and things that have been holding you back, that have been stopping you. You know, it's, it's time to live your truth. It's time to speak your truth. So I hope that makes sense. As always, donations are appreciated. Um, and please comment, like, share, subscribe. I love hearing from you guys. I love hearing about your stories. Um, maybe someone on your social media needs to hear this, so I appreciate you guys sharing. Please subscribe to me. And, um, yeah, my email and donation links are everything and everything are right below in the description box. So thank you guys for watching.